Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dog and Ropa. Are you guys like the thirty-minute episodes? I don't know. Um, I will. I'm, I, this is my. Th I'm still in my fourth play session, so uh, I won't see the comments until like after all of this. But I don't even know if if the guys. I know like five or six people watch this. Uh, even even that, I don't know. Good morning. Such a nice day today. I'm so glad it's sunny. I mean, even if it wasn't sunny, it'd be a waste. Huh? A waste? Oh, there's nothing. I was only mumbling to myself just now. Waste? What's... What, what? I hope you don't... Please don't. Please don't act suspicious. I gotta, I gotta go eat breakfast. But for now, what are you talking about? What are you groaning about? Why you? Ibuki isn't groaning for some gross reason like Nekumaru does. I'm worried about more sublime and more serious matter. And the matter is, yes. Ibuki's music genre from now on. Music genre. <laughs> I escaped the pop sounds of girl of the girl band genre. So now I'm thinking about changing my musical stylings completely. Ah, I see. <laughs> but there's something that comes to mind. This is very troubling. Hajime, if you think of anything, I look forward to hearing your advice. Is there something you can really decide on on a whim? Oh, you better not. Do not die on me. Or you just hatch. You just hatch. So now, so now I have to, um, now I have to watch it because it, it, it'll die. I, I gotta, I gotta set like goals for myself. I think at like nine, ten minutes in, I'm gonna check on it, or as best as I can. What's going on, Sayanji? Good morning, Haiko. Hey, hey! Hey, doesn't Chiaki get bored of playing the same game over and over again? She's not gonna reply to my greeting, is she? <laughs> I don't understand gamers at all. In fact, I don't even wanna understand. I don't even wanna understand them. Seriously, everyone here is such a weirdo. Ah, except Mahiru. Jeez! When I'm with you guys, I feel like I'm gonna be a weird become a weirdo too. I feel like you already are one. Yeah, I agree. Good morning. Hey. Good morning, Hajime. It's rare for you to reply so quickly in the morning. Yep. Yep, I just finished playing a game right now. Hey, hey. More importantly, I was just wondering, is someone bringing food to Nagito? I brought him food yesterday morning. I don't know about the others. Dots. Is it alright if I do see how he's doing later? Um... I'll head over to the restaurant for now. Yeah, we should. If he dies in there, I wonder whose fault it is. Good day. It's whoever tied him up, right? Or is it whoever didn't feed him? Or does that even count? Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate. And I sat myself at a table near the window. Yo! What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? You just eat too much, Akane. You. You're one to talk. All you eat is candy. Why? It's just because just because candy doesn't just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. Uh, these gummies <laughs> have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. Like. You should just eat real fruit. Dots. It seems like a bad time to bring up that game of all all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Let me tell you this. Is Mahiro missing? Hmm? After Gundam said that, I looked around the restaurant. Fuck. <clears throat> He's always here every morning. It's strange for her not to come. Yep. Um. I wonder if she's not feeling well. Maybe. If she doesn't feel good, that's fine, but there's a small chance that she's... What the? A small chance that she's what? Um, um, huh? I saw Mahito. She was outside the hotel. <laughs> oh, I see. Jeez! She, don't say such a Let spooky go! thing. As punishment, how about I throw you around in a circle three times, say woof, and then jump off a cliff? <laughs> I don't want to die like that. Hey! Uh, so what was Mahiru doing outside the hotel? Yo. She said she wanted to be alone. 
I even asked her to come eat with us, but she turned it down. What? Wanted to be alone. Um. Maybe she's planning to play that game. Shut up! What are you saying, pig barf? There's no way Mahiru would play video games. She's not like that slowpoke gamer over there. Don. Huh? Ah, were you referring to me? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm a pig barf, aren't I? It looks like it's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. And while I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yo! Hey, Hajime, you got a second. What? What is it? Kajime leaned forward out of his seat and glanced quickly around the room and whispered to me. Yeah. Today, 2.30 p.m., come to the supermarket, but don't tell anyone else about it. Huh? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can see us, can see us right now. It's bad. What does it mean, it's bad? You fiend. Hey, what are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Well... Nothing. Got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. <laughs> you think I was worried about you fiends? <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> laugh, I say. You've, you've elevated an arrogance to an art form. I feel like Shit. this is my friend Corey. Uh, what, <laughs> what sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka. <laughs> it's like less, a little bit less dramatic than than Corey. I don't even know actually. I am for, I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. Fall, my All tears. I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. Dance. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. Anyway, Hajime, uh, that's what's happening, so I'll see you then. You know, right? Just so you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Conserve my energy. <laughs> I'll see you later. What was that about? I agree, I have no clue. Instead of talking about games, I received a strange message, a strange request from Kazuichi. And that day's breakfast came to an end. Hmm. 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 Kazumichi told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30. But what did he mean when he told me to conserve my energy? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now. Okay. Um, free time. Free time, free time, free time. Leave here. Okay, so what are we, what are we trying to do? I like the series because it doesn't copyright any of the music, and the music is really nice. Um, so we've talked to what's her name a lot. My question is, should I keep talking to her? Like, will she tell me stuff different? Nothing, nothing good is gonna come from talking to her because I already have all of her hope friends. So there's no reason to talk to her anymore. Um, so we're friends. Uh, Sayanji and I need to be friends. Uh, Chiaki, I feel like she's gonna die. And I feel like Sayanji is still pretty safe. As far as, um, not dying. So. Also, is, what's his name still tied up? Can't go there. Well, let, let's just go in there. Let's just go in there. Can I? I just want to see if I can enter there. I want to talk to what's his name if I can. I can't. I want to talk to what's his name if it'll let me. Gosh darn it, dude. I want to talk to him. I don't want to leave him to despair. He's the ultimate lucky, so he's going to get out of there somehow. Okay, so they're both in their cottages. There's no there's no way for, for me to get to them, I think. Oh, that's uh, Sonya, never mind. I know Sonya never mind's like a big serial killer addict. Um, 
I shouldn't put all my... See, here's what I'm thinking. I shouldn't put all of my things in one basket. All my eggs. Also, I need to buy a, a present before I go anywhere. I don't know what I'm doing. F1 map. Outside. To, to here. Level up, or we're about to. Go to level 23. I don't even know if we need that many levels, honestly. Honestly. I, I feel like levels are just for skills, right? So, like, why would you want more levels? <clears throat> Let's get in here. We'll purchase something from the vending machine, yep, because we need presents for people. Let's just purchase a bunch of stuff. Um, so you never mind might like jewelry. I don't know if that's any good or not. Replica sword and man man. I feel like it's 50 because it's a special gift for somebody. Yeah, potato chips, a cod row baguette. I feel like some of you mind might like that or something. Uh, we, we might get some blue ram. Ramen. I heard people like ramen in Japan. And some father seeds. That way we have a bunch of presents that we can just hand out at will. We gotta keep track of what we have, though. Okay. Um, now that we n know what we have, let's go find Sonya Nevermind. Looks like she's in the restaurant still. So let's go to the restaurant, and we'll see if we can not, uh, or make make way for friendship with someone. I feel like it might be better to put all your eggs in one basket, but I don't know. Well Speaking of Japanese detective dramas, I'm a big fan of I'm a huge fan of Bark at the also, Sun. Also also <laughs> However Police Western Division is also wonderful. I get the chills when the Damien Force appears. Yeah. You seem very passionate. Uh, Hajime, which side are you on? Team Taka or Team Yuji? I spent time listening to Sonya talk about detective dramas. I feel like she would be the girl that I would actually get with in real life. Uh, uh, because she talks and I don't talk very much. Or at least in real life I don't. I'm good at talking to myself. Which is partly why I'm okay at this whole YouTube thing. This is I can just talk about random crap all day if I want to. Uh... Uh, what would you like? What would you like? That's more of like a Chiyaki thing. Um, anything? Favorite panty? She often gets the wrong size and these are really small. That's so weird. Why do I have those? Let's give her some raw moon. Let's give her that. Wow. You're giving me this? Right. What a wonderful item. I shall accept without any reservations. Uh, I must say, this island is truly a wonderful place. Tight. The weather is calm and the sea is blue. Truly a perfect resort setting. That might be true, but... Oh, my. Oh, did I say something strange? You're the same way, girl. I was just thinking that you're strangely calm right now. Sonya, are you... Are you really not worried about our current situation? I... Of course I'm worried, but I am also angry. Jeez, this is not something to joke about. Who's joking? However... However, what happens next depends on us. As long as we do not kill anyone, then this will all be fine. That's the right attitude, but... Besides, I have come here to learn about your country. 
A, I would understand if this were my homeland, but in this case, this land is foreign to me. Well? I do not intend to kill anyone, and I do not intend to be killed easily either. The way she said that, sounded, she sounded a little dangerous. If this were my homeland, so, sh so would this be okay in her, your country? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let us forget about killings and cooperate with one another so we can return home quickly. If you have any good ideas, feel free to let me know. I shall also do my best to think of something too. Yeah, you're right. When I speak to Sonya, somehow I feel really positive and optimistic. <sighs> Such an honor. Raise your head. There is no need to worry. What she's saying sounds odd, but she certainly looks the part. Typical of a princess, I guess. Which reminds me, what was the name of your country? As I recall, the country's name was... Oh, shit. I think it's this. It's the Novo Selic Kingdom, right? <laughs> Sounds as though you finally remember. Well, it's not a country I've heard of. Yes, that is understandable. It is often overlooked by cartographers. Um. The Novo Selic Kingdom is, off, is an extremely small country and governed by an absolute monarchy. Though the population is small, our economy is thriving, so we do not desire straits at all. For generations, the royal family has protected the kingdom and its people from its neighboring countries. Thanks to that, the people still have complete trust towards the royal family. Well? And also, wine and chocolate is one of our country's hidden specialties. It really does sound like a kingdom. So you're the princess of that kingdom. Does that mean you live in a castle or something? Yes. Of course. The royal family has been living in the royal castle for over a thousand years. While it may be old and small, but the castle is a truly wonderful historic building. Of course! Of course, it's easy to get lost in our subterranean labyrinth, and our barracks aren't fully equipped as well. So, our <laughs> so castles really do have those. Um. Uh, anyway, is it alright if I ask you something as well? Hmm, if I can answer it, it's fine. Who did you have your heart set on initially? Who do you... And who do you intend to switch later? What? The story of seven men and women. I believe it is a standard tactic to start wavering and swapping partners. Uh, hold on, what are you talking about? You have no idea? It's Japan's legendary drama. Well? It starts off really upbeat and then it gets really serious. I never expected that to happen. I was all like, seriously? What's gonna happen? I just could not take my eyes off the screen. Uh. And Momoko's feelings at the time were... Oh my goodness, so intense. I continued to listen to Sonya extensively talk about Japanese dramas. At least now I totally understand that she's a major J-drama fangirl. Cool. Awesome. After politely excusing myself from the long conversation with Sonya, I left the area. Alright, if it gives me another free time, I gotta check my pet. Which I think it will. Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuichi. He told me to come to the supermarket. What's he thinking all of a sudden? Are he keeping a, a secret from others? I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to... Thoughts. No, there's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. Alright, so I'm going to the market. What does he have to say to me? Huh? It's well past the arranged shine and there's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety I had been keeping inside began to swell up like a balloon until- Yo! Yo! Wah! Whoa! Whoa! Hey, what the heck? Don't get all pissed just because I was a little late. Late? Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. A guy who doesn't mind showing up late even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, it sort of makes sense. So what do you want? Why did you call me out here like this? Hey. Well, you know, can you do me a little favor? A little favor? Uh. I just overheard something. Apparently it's Miss Sony's idea. For a change of pace. All the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. It doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you- As expected of Miss Sonya, splash- As expected of splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. I admire her so much it's shocking. My heart trembles around her so much that it's about to burn out. So, let's crash together. What? Why me? Well, it's kind of weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So, how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach and co and we run into the girls by coincidence? Huh? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Man. Nikomaru can't make, keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam is... well, Gundam. Fuyuko and Nagato are out of the question. 
I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey, I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know. And now we're, you're just gonna walk all over <laughs> my kind act? You're snapping at me? If you say no, I'm gonna bug you about it until you die. Well, see, but I feel like that's not even... There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kajuichi, all, after all. Y if I have no choice, then fine. Yeah, that's my Hajime. <laughs> that's how a soul brother should act. Alright, so what do I have to do? Well... Well, based on what I overheard, it looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. All right. That's why we gotta head over there to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it. So I need to go to the Engine's diner. Ready. You, Yahoo, I'm all excited now. Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. It looks like he can't take a hint. Alright, so I should go to the diner. Um, let's go to the diner. Map. Um, second island. Second island. And we're going to the diner. You, are you follow me? Looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second right. That's why we get over to the diner first. I feel like the music is really good. Whoever whoever made the soundtrack is good. It's very th thematic too. Like they don't they don't alter the theme at all. Like having a soundtrack is is very tough for a game. It doesn't seem like it would be a tough thing. It actually is. Like if you if your all your music doesn't fit together, it, it feels off. I don't know if you've ever played a game where the music's like completely all over the place. Okay, so I'm at the diner now, dude. What do you want? <laughs> Let's hurry up and go inside. <laughs> Alright, we're here. And we just have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Are you sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? Hmm. When are they gonna come? Didn't you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears, too? Hmm. You mentioned something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt, so maybe around 4 p.m.? It's 3 p.m. right now, so we have to wait one more hour. <laughs> Always make your move early. That's just the basics, you know. Hey, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. Hey. It's fine, it's fine. Just make sure you keep watch by the window. It'd be really bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonya on her way to the beach, you know. It's their job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass in front of the diner. Engine's revving. You better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. If this isn't a game, then what is it? I should really have just said no. Staring at the table by the window, I rested my chin uh, as my hands and absentmindedly stared at the window. <laughs> Are they coming? Did they arrive? It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. <laughs> dots. 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 20 minutes passed. Then 30 minutes. As time passed by, the only things that grew were my volume of size and the weight of my regret. <laughs> Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonya will wear? Since she's a foreigner, how about a bikini? What happens if someone dies right now? We're going to have to explain our alibi. <laughs> and this is not going to be a good alibi. Uh, even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked past the front of the diner. Isn't that... I wonder what happened. I should guess I should head over. We left the diner in a hurry to, and ran to that where that person was standing. Uh, Kazuichi? Or no, uh, Fuhiko. Yeah. What? You, you bastards. I knew you was you, Fuhiko. What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! That's my line! Hey, hey! What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? You. Who the fuck are you calling flustered? I, 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 he doesn't say fuck there, but it just everything that he says has a swear in it. So I'm just, like, naturally when I see this text, I'm like, I gotta add an F in there because it's so much fun to say. Ah, uh, don't tell me, man. Oh, man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? P plan? It's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and followed us all the way here, right? Hello! Hey, what are you doing at this place? Oh, my, my. That's a strange combo. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Um, today's another wonderful...
wonderful day. Well, you done for. you're not gonna get away now that I've caught you. Well, I'm so. <laughs> what? Please don't hate me. I'll take the punishment as much as you like. Well, you two. This is such a coincidence. I never expected to accidentally run into you guys here. It really does suck. At this. Well, man. Actually, Hajime and I are actually about to head to the beach together. Oh my! Could it be that that's what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. Aww. Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like the salmon before they lay eggs. Well... No way. Uh, I'm always like this. How, uh, how should I put it? I am always pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. As I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. Huh? Where did Fifi go go? Well, regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30 p.m. <laughs> God damn it, Kazumichi. Um, Why do you know we're going to meet with the others? Why you? And you even know our damn meeting time. Hmm. Well, you see... For now. Anyway, let's challenge the coincidence that brought us together. So is it okay if we join in too? Wow, we got forceful all of a sudden. Aww. That's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? Well, I really have no desire to do something so rude, like decline the offer at all, so... But Miss Sonia was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course! And it's all good. It's too devastating to think that Miss Sonia would decline, so I won't think it. Is he just being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey! Hey! Uh, so we got Buki was definitely going to eat a good meal first, but that's why I came early. <laughs> sure thing, let's wait inside. Can't take my mind off Fuhiko, though. Oh well, I've come this far, I can't turn back now. Hmm. <laughs> Mew, I always say something stupid when I get nervous. I'm not doing it on purpose. So, I guess we go inside. Um, I'm also confused on what Fuhiko's doing right now. But I don't, I don't know. I don't think he's gonna kill anybody. I returned to the diner and sat by myself at the table near the window once again. Without thinking, I couldn't help but let out a big sigh. <laughs> oh, what are you guys gonna do about your swimsuits? Uh, you, you aren't allowed to change in the beach house, you know. That's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties, it's a swimsuit. Of course! Well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit, too. Oh, huh, really? Uh. Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? And you gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. Here you go, this is yours. What? What is this thing? <laughs> Maybe terribly rude of me to say this, but... Ah! That looks a little too daring. <laughs> Are you serious? What if something falls out? If this is airing live, then you're totally gonna get censored by the network. <laughs> Don't worry, even at its worst, it won't turn into a live-action drama. That's not the problem. <laughs> then what is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? It's matching? <laughs> then I definitely don't want to wear it. I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. Peeking. Peeking. Things are heating up something fierce. When's everyone going to come? I hope they come soon. As she said that, Ubiki peered out the window. Oh. Huh? What is it? Look outside! Outside! What's outside? Isn't that Hyoko? This is why I gotta be friends with Hyoko. Cause she's crying. Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. We had to get chase after her. Doesn't she's... she seem a little strange? Yeah, she's crying. If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Uh huh. It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Despite her questions, Hyoko ran in front of the diner at full speed. Go, go, catch her. Huh? She totally ran past us, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? Well, Apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. Hmm. She... Didn't she just come running from the beach? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really don't know all the details about that. <laughs> it seems wo women are full of surprises. Aww. Mahiro is totally the type to come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. Mahiro did? She turned it down? It's unexpected of her not to join in an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this one. That's totally it! But it can't be helped. Apparently she wasn't feeling well. Um. Terribly sorry to continue this topic, but 
why was Hiroko crying? I agree, why are you asking us? But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying, something's definitely wrong. Hey! Hey. Whoa! When did you get here so suddenly? Kazuichi suddenly shouted, and what he was looking at was near the diner's entrance. As I turned around... Oh. Jeez. My, my, how disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. Wow. I mean, I know it's anime, and they can just do whatever they want, but still. I can't, uh, staring like an idiot. Whoa, yeah, I agree. Chiaki. Chia uh, Chiaki. You came wearing only your swimsuit. I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. A serious burden? That's a tear. But <laughs> even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Cool. Um, it's not like I'm going to turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game, too. Hmm. Should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. I see. That's disappointing. I would play it. Board games are fun. So, th they're just ignoring the fact that Hyoko was crying. I would have booked it. I would have been like, hey, whoa, yo. For someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit makes you a little excited, right, Hajime? Well, I, I, I don't know. That's what I said, but my heart was actually beating faster and faster. <laughs> Seriously, man. I never expected, yeah. You know what? I was, I'm right there with you. What happened? Jugs? I didn't say that just now. It was Hajime. He's a pervert, you know. What are you saying? I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonya. I've dreamed about going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Thought. The size is a little small, but this is the only swimsuit that fits. Hey, hey. Do I don't look good in it? Huh? Well, no. I it get You look good. Thanks. Then I'm glad, I guess. Uh, wearing a bikini sure is daring, and you get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not just thumping, it's thumping all sporadically, like ba dump, ba dump. It's probably a heart attack. <laughs> hey, I kept you waiting. And the person was. Why did she have. Hey! What was she doing? Sorry to keep you guys waiting. <laughs> That's a good question. What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Not that! Your wounds! Are those wounds? It looks like pink stuff to me. It wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now! Oh! You're talking about these. <laughs> On my way over here, I happened to run into <laughs> Coach Nekomaru. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Why does she have to do that? Are you really? Yeah, I know. Right? Your head. It looks like it's split in half. Yep. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in nope. it, right? Why was Hyeonji crying? You're totally Hyeonji playing crying. up the power of human spit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. <laughs> Are we just gonna ignore uh, Sionji? Obviously, because they're just ignoring her. Akane, please come with me. With unusually forceful demeanor, Mikan and pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's going to be okay if we leave it to her. Hey. Should What's all this ruckus? All right. uh, who is it this time? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Ajime, Kazuichi, why are you two here? <laughs> hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. Huh. A little swimming? So she was by the beach. I swam around the island for about three hours. What? That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. 
If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. I yeah, agree. That may be true. Hey. <laughs> hey, Ajime, what? Awesome! A woman with slick, wet black hair is pretty fine too, huh? Oh my my! And this body too, man. I mean, yeah. Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Don't say such asinine things. Silica. <laughs> it looks like everyone is almost here and it's already past 4 p.m. So all that's left is... I am terribly sorry for my delay. <laughs> Miss Sonya's here. She's doubled down on excitement. <laughs> What? Yeah, she's gonna wear something completely non-revealing. <laughs> yeah, that's what. <laughs> uh, oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, it's a wetsuit. It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Really, it is. My bad. <laughs> Thank you, Sonya. Oh my! I see a wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonya does have beautiful wet white skin. Miss Sonya! But that outfit of hers is amazing. Just what I expect from a hundred percent pure bed princess. This guy is so quick to recover. Um. Um. Anyway, why are you two here? Uh. I'll answer that, Miss Sonya. I'll be honest. If you're gonna go to the beach, please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, this was supposed to be originally supposed to be a girls only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. <laughs> Don't you do you think you can make an exception? Pretty please? Um, well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems even if there are some boys. Then You're right. If they all came along they all came all the way here, it would be bad if we made them leave. <sighs> uh, Miss Sonia is just too kind. All right. All right. Now that's decided, let's get going. Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! There's no way I can just stand around. I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Engines Someone's rapping. probably dead, dude. I mean it. I'll promise to serve all you guys so everyone has fun. Then I burn one around Augusta and bolts it out of the dining. Um, why was Sianji crying? Maybe. Surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. I should go help Kazuichi too. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner almost as if I were escaping. I would just sit there. I would just be like, you know what? Life has brought me to this point in time. Alright, thank you guys for watching. We're going to end it here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, let me know. Leave a comment here if you want to have a conversation. Subscribe if you feel necessary. And I hope you guys are having a good rest of your day. Peace out, guys.